Okay. The next uh, feature that I wanted to share with you is uh, how you can share your screen, because this is a really cool thing about Zoom. At the bottom of the toolbar, I've got an option that says share screen. And so I'm going to click on that now, and I'm going to share with you a worksheet that I downloaded from the ISI Collective website. Um, so now you should be viewing my, see my screen, and you should be able to see rooms. Can you give me a nod if you can see rooms? Okay, all right. So um, this is a worksheet that focuses on rooms and things in rooms. And I wanted to try a couple of tasks with you guys. So for this, um, we're gonna need to agree on um, gestures that we use. I'm gonna give you true or false sentences. For example, I'm gonna say, there is a bathtub in the bathroom, which is the example. And this sentence is true. So I want us to establish a hand gesture or a head movement or something for yes. What would be a good idea? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Okay, okay, look at Delphine. People, if you can see Delphine, she's recommending a thumbs up. If that's okay, can everybody do a thumbs up? And that's going to be our agreed symbol for yes. Okay, now we need a symbol for no. If the sentence is false, what are we going to do? <laughs> that seems to make sense. Are people okay with that? Okay, all right. So I'm going to give you another sentence. Oh, hello, Gaby, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Welcome and just go uh, with the flow. You'll be able to watch the recording and you'll make yes, up for what you... Thanks. Okay, all right. So look at the picture, everybody, that I'm sharing. Is this true or false? I'm gonna give you a sentence and I'm gonna to count to three and then I want you to go like this or like this. Like this if it's true, like this if it's false. Okay, in the bedroom, there are two carpets on the floor. One, two, three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Mm. In the living room, I'm assuming that's a living room. In the living room, there are two uh, cushions, pillows, cushions on the sofa. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, Eva, ooh, you've changed your name. Well done. Eva, could you be the next teacher and give us another sentence? Then count to three and then we're going to respond. All right. So in the kitchen, there is a wide fridge. Count to three. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Agnieszka, you're the next teacher. Uh, there are two tables in the living room. Count? Uh, uh, sorry. One, two, three. Okay. Agnieszka, who should be the next teacher? Uh, Peter. Okay. So there are three pillows in the bedroom. Remember to count? One, two, three. Okay, you get the idea, right? Um, so this is another way of involving a lot of students in, a, in open class and getting some meaningful language practice with a worksheet that would normally just be a gap fill, right? You can share your screen and you can share anything. You can select the application you want to share or you can share everything on your screen, which is fine as long as you have closed anything that could be inappropriate before you started your lesson. I learned this the hard way, so um, uh, remember that. <laughs> okay.